All right, guys, hey, welcome back to the Bronco 2 Builds Video 2 on the Grease Monkey channel. Um, I'm just here, we're gonna start and we're gonna go around both the parts car and the good car, and we're gonna take off the tires and wheels that we want, and we're gonna kind of make some dummy setups and get some tires popped on the beach so we have a roller and we can roll the good Bronco if we need to move it in and out through the driveway. Um, here, I'll show you which wheels we're gonna keep here and then um, which ones we're going to get rid of we have a mix of like we have one penny slot style wheel and then some other kind of that 80s early 90s style and then a couple donut wheels so give me just a moment and i'll show you which ones we're going to keep and swap onto the good bronco all right guys so if you see this style this wheel is a, is a style we're going to keep and we're going to go through and um, give them a fresh buff and paint job um, but they're kind of this like star interesting looking pattern but if we come over here, we have a lot of these like donut spare tire wheels that we do, that were fine, but it's not on a bead. And I mean, it's a decent tire that we can use for the time being. On these other ones, you can see the Parts Bronco has this star tire as well, or wheel, I'm sorry. But if we come over here to the back side, we have one really cool penny slot style wheel, which I thought was really cool. But again, yeah, just a lot of, um, a lot of like these donut looking styles. So what we're going to do is I'm going to set you guys up over here and do a little time lapse. And we're going to take these tires off. And we're going to take them over and get them mounted on the wheels. All right, guys, so we quickly realized after taking a look at our engine that we have in our supposed good Bronco, we're kind of missing a lot of pieces. And we struggled and struggled trying to get the hood open on the parts Bronco. We didn't really know what the motor looked like. We finally got it open um, later last evening. And it was like the holy grail, hoping that we had all the parts, open the hood, everything was there. So we're gonna show you this motor in the good Bronco and we're gonna swap the motor from the parts Bronco into here. Um, hopefully can get it fired up soon later this week and we'll get some film of that. Um, but we think it's gonna be the better route and the fastest route to get the good Bronco running and so we can see what other engine and suspension and brake and all that stuff components that we need to add or get put on this new Bronco so we can get it rolling down the road. And just to show you guys, this is the state of the motor we have in what we're calling the good Bronco, the blue Bronco. We are missing some parts here, quite a few. So here in the next clip, we're gonna show you the motor in the red Bronco, the parts Bronco, and why we think it's probably gonna be a little easier and better for us to swap it in. All right, guys, and now for the exterior of this Bronco, you're gonna see there's some spots of rust here, um, but we kind of have a game plan on what we're gonna do to tackle this. You'll see we have a big dent here in the um, passenger side fender and a little bit of rust on the bottom here. So we are gonna order two brand new fenders that are already in primer ready to go. Um, that'll be easy to swap <clears throat> in our next biggest body component here. And you probably saw it in the last video was this bottom part of the front quarter on the passenger side. So they make a kit where we can just kind of splice this bottom section here and we'll just kind of somewhere roughly cut here and we'll have a primed in piece to replace this quarter with. Um, so we'll be doing pretty good on that. So if we continue to walk around, the rest of the body's in really good shape. We took the tire rack off so we can kind of get stuff ready for paint. We're gonna remove the bumpers and the roof rack. All right guys, so here is the interior of what we're working with here for the parts Bronco. Now we do know that the carpet is pretty dirty, <clears throat> but the seats in here are in pretty good condition. And this is just after just a basic wipe down, getting kind of the mold and dust off. Here's our interior. Let's see, look at the miles we have on here. 44,736 miles. Pretty nice. 
We do have a manual four speed with on the ground, it's got overdrive, and then we have that on the floor shifter for four wheel drive. Now, you'll see that we are missing a driver's side seat, and down here, our mounts are kind of rusted out. So, when we got the car, the <clears throat> The uh, driver's side seat that was in it was all rusted on the frame. And so we went ahead, and you'll see clips of it here in, later in the video, but we took the passenger seat out of the parts car, and it's actually pretty clean. And we're going to swap it in for the driver's side seat of this one. We'll paint the bracket and clean it up. But that's what we're going to put as our driver's side seat in here. All right, guys, we're here uh, on the parts Bronco, and we were just looking at some of the stuff that we're going to steal off of it. For the good Bronco, um, starting with this passenger seat, um, the brackets on the good Bronco that we're gonna be building for the driver's side seat uh, weren't any good. So we're hoping that this passenger side bracket will line up with the driver's side of that other Bronco. Um, not really sure what it's gonna take to you know get this thing off, but we're gonna look into it and we're gonna take you guys with us as we tear the seat up. All right, guys, um, just getting down here on these seat brackets um, all you're really going to need is a 13 mil um, there's going to be one bolt at every corner of the seat um, and this whole entire bracket should just come right out as you can see we've got a bolt here one will be under this cover and then we'll have two at the front corners as, as you can see we've got both back bolts out and obviously it is completely loose so all like i said all you need is just those two single bolts in the back that will take this whole bracket off. Um, taking the whole bracket with the seat is definitely a lot easier than trying to separate the seat from the bracket and putting the seat on there. Um, and in our case, uh, you know, we need both anyway. All right, guys, we're over at the parts Bronco, and you'll see that this motor uh, isn't missing what we are in the other one. We kind of have everything here. And if we are missing anything, I mean, besides the battery, but if we're missing anything else, we're going to swap the parts that we have from the blue Broncos motor and kind of just mesh one together. But this motor, you'll see, has everything that we're missing on the other one. All right, everybody, we went ahead and pressure washed the truck and got it all cleaned up. We threw together a time lapse of that for you. It's coming up right now. Just wanted to take a quick second guys to thank you so much for watching our videos there's more content to come so make sure you like comment subscribe and turn on that notification bell for more videos <laughs>